Vitra has been probably my first and biggest support when I started. The very first time when I met Rolf, he said, you know, we actually met before a year ago, but someone introduced me to you and you shook my hand, he said, and you turned away, you thought another boring Swiss uh, industrialist. Once the company thinking only focusing on particular design, it's going to be weak. But the Vitras always invest many different things to sucking in uh, the new ideas as an energy for try making a new things for the future. Vitra is one of the best environment to, to work with. And, and Mr. Felbaum is someone that knows how to make people progress and, uh, and, and go further than their first idea, go further than their first thing. He had a whole list of questions uh, what he wanted me to ask, and, and number one was a sofa. I thought, a sofa? <laughs> you know, uh, I immediately said, I hate sofa. I said, why? I said, yeah, it's so big and, it's, uh, you know, you never get one that suits you. I don't have a sofa at home, so I said, why don't you make one that you would like to have yourself? And that was the trigger that I start working. I don't know if it's better to work with uh, this and this. I really believe in the idea about the design as a part of industrial culture. I think it's, uh, no, it's working. Yeah. It's something you can is growing in the factory because in the factory you see the, the problem, you see the process, you see the complication and then you find the solution with other people. In principle our image is design. Very less people know that uh, we are creating modern offices based on the requirements of the companies in terms of energy efficiency, space efficiency, in terms of image. If it's possible to increase productivity and efficiency of uh, uh, the office workers, then you have a very fast uh, uh, payback. When I say successful company, it's, uh, it's from a a designer point of view, I don't even speak about uh, uh, the size of the company, but more the, the ever quality that you find in the product. Das ist jetzt dieses Gewicht, was hier vorhin um die Ecke stand. Die Kraft ist jetzt 136 Kilo auf die Armlehne. Jetzt wird jetzt eine Minute hängen gelassen und dann ziehen wir das Gewicht wieder hoch. Und der Stuhl sieht aus wie neu. Nur mal um ein Gefühl zu bekommen, was unsere Qualität ist. found a very a strong technical culture which is able to influence a lot. You come here with ideas and it starts a discussion, it's a, it's a communication. There's a lot of innovation here, it's not just luxury for luxury's sake or you know. And that's why I think I feel 
at home. We can produce things we could never think of under normal circumstances. And of course, that doesn't mean constraints are not good. Constraints are good, they make us humble and, and serving, but it's as important to ignore them occasionally and experiment with other criteria in mind. And that is what we do, anticipate things that come. We don't know them clearly, but we feel it. We can experiment with materials, with typology, with technical ideas, social ideas, social issues, etc. And this wide range of themes is represented in that edition. And when you go through the dome there, you see a number of rather extraordinary objects and by a very interesting group of designers and architects. The opportunity to develop new things uh, without uh, the constraint to be really in production. The working area is going to change a little, that you get more like a campus, which is already here a little. You have the buildings, there is green, there is a museum, so there is more than just the production. Don't disturb me, I'm busy. I think Vitra, it's about doing something, moving it to a different place, refining it, changing it again. The, the freedom to, to, to be also wrong, in a way. Zaha, we have been thinking about furniture maybe almost 20 years, and the fact that we did the building was because we failed with a chair, isn't that right, so, so we, what can you do? So we did the building. They bring architects in and do experiments, and it feeds the design culture, but it also feeds the architecture. I like it. I think, you know, Rob has been a fantastic guy. I think also in terms of the commissioning of architects, you know, he was the, I think, precursor for all these big iconic projects by doing the, you know, Frank Gehry buildings and ours and Andos. Even in an industrial site or a production facility, you can do some interesting things and they don't cost necessarily much more money, but they change the view and the attitude. It's really nice to, to see the museum and at the same time the trucks. You, know, you, you just understand this kind of a, a double mission of Vitra. of things, they've seen the 60s and the 70s in the US, so he is incredibly dynamic and active and uh, he has a lot of, uh, he is incredibly open-minded because he, he's, he's seen a lot and a lot of things. The history is not just the brand but actually the knowledge. The Eames family and Beecher have been working together since the 1950s. Willie um, had a uh, very powerful experience when he saw a, um, an Eames chair in a window in New York and he became probably obsessed is the right word with figuring out how to be the person to make this chair in Europe. When Charles and Mary were designing things, they had this expression that the role of the architect or designer was essentially that of a good host, anticipating the needs of the guest. So when you're sitting in the chairs, or I am, you're Charles and Mary's guest even today. To be 
here to live this atmosphere of design and architecture. It's after you leave, you are not the same. You know, there is a whole inte mental integration with the place. And People like Charles and Ray or any of Vitra's designers, they're not trying to design one thing. They're trying to design a way to give you the special experience again and again. So the chair that my grandparents were designing was the chair that Vitra makes tomorrow.